The World Wide Web is an incredible tool, but for all its positive uses, there is a dark side, appropriately called the dark web. Now, here to tell us what it is and why sh we should be careful on the internet is President and CEO of Coleman Technologies, Darren Coleman. Darren, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, Alex. You traveled all the way from Canada to give us this information here today, so we're, we're very fortunate that you're here. Uh, you say that the internet can actually be a scary thing. Why is that? Yeah, so the internet can be a scary place. If you think of, you know, the phishing, the malware, the viruses, the ransomware, and the, the list of scams that just never seem to be ending, you know, it really can be a dark area. Right, they become more and more complex as, as the years go by, it seems. And, you know, you say dark area, there are certainly some dark corners of the internet, one of which is called the dark web. So many people, I'm sure, have heard of it. What actually is it? Yeah, so the dark web is like the internet, like the wild, wild west of the internet, you can think of it. It's an area beyond the reach of law enforcement, hence the complete lack of regulations and enforcement. And we're seeing an illustration here of what that would look like. So sort of explain this graphic to us. The World Wide Web sort of the what we can see, right? Right, so it makes up, say, 5% of the internet, a very small percentage you're going to be able to search with Bing or, or, or Google. Mm -hmm. And then beyond that, you have your deep web, and that's going to be like your email systems, your banking systems, the government system, systems where you need credentials in order to have access. And then below that, you have your dark web. And in order to access the dark web, you're going to need special tools, mm -hmm. special browsers. And once you're on the dark web, all your traffic's going to be anonymized. Right, and on a regular basis, people wouldn't really access the dark web. I mean, it's not something that you really just want to go on on a Tuesday afternoon, right? N no, but if you were, say, a journalist in a country where uh, free speech wasn't allowed mm -hmm. or where certain sites were blocked, you, that, that's a legitimate purpose. But if you're a cyber criminal and you want to um, post corporate secrets or identity theft or, or right. even weapons or things that are even worse, mm -hmm. you'd use the dark web. It's used for illegal purposes. Um, and so what, how does this affect an everyday person? Sure. So, you know... Me or you, mm -hmm. we could have our credentials compromised on the dark web. Yeah. You know, um, celebrities like Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber, or even big businesses with million dollar budgets like Microsoft or Sony, their credentials can be compromised, their trade secrets can be compromised, and they're all available on the dark web. Right, and we're seeing some of the methods here on the screen now, uh, the first of which is phishing, which is probably the most common, right? Phishing would be the most common mm -hmm. uh, way your credentials would be captured. And that would come in the form of, say, an email. Say you're a, a customer of PayPal, right? You get an email from PayPal. What would that phishing email look like as opposed to a legitimate one? So that email is going to look very similar to PayPal. It might, rather than saying it came from PayPal.com, it might say PayPalServices.com. Mm -hmm. It might say Dear User rather than Dear Alex. Yeah. And, of course, you know, once you click that link, your credentials are going to be compromised. Right, and there may be some misspellings in the email. Basically, there are a lot of uh, different... Uh, signs that it's not a real email and then once they do get a hold of your data say they you know, by some chance they do what do they do with that compromised information well that compromised data is probably going to end up on the dark web and it's going to be for sale mm -hmm. where the uh, cyber criminal can make uh, a good amount of money selling your uh, credentials uh, to buyers on the dark web which can have also a, a real financial impact on you, right? It could if they get a hold of the right information. Sure. Well, I'm sure you've heard a lot about identity theft. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly how it starts. Right. Not only could they, you know, hack into your bank account, steal your money, but also your social security number. And they can do a whole lot of damage with that. And, and if you were, say, a business and you had money in escrow and they were able to transfer that money, uh, you know, you would uh, suffer a huge financial loss because the banks may not necessarily protect uh, your transfer. Certainly. So individuals are in danger. Companies are in danger. If you're not careful with the signs, then you could certainly uh, be a victim of this. And so how can someone ensure that their credentials, their information doesn't end up on this? Well, if you're a business, I'd recommend you sign up for some type of dark web monitoring. But mm -hmm. beyond that, you want to make sure you use complex passwords, you know, at least 12 characters you know, have upper and lower case special digits, you know, things you've heard before. But you don't want to reuse that same password on multiple sites. Mm -hmm. And I would even recommend you change that password every 90 days. And if possible, if the site supports it, use multi-factor authentication. And what's that? I mean, I'm sure people have seen it uh, advertised. Some companies are adopting it. What is multi-factor authentication? So it's something besides not just your username and password. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a rolling code you get through an app on your phone. Maybe okay. it's a text message. 
Right, and here we're seeing on the screen a lot of this information uh, can be found in, in this book that you co-authored, Easy Prey. Tell us what people can get from it when they buy this. Yeah, so Easy Prey, I've worked with several other IT um, folks and, and there's information on how to protect your business mm -hmm. from data breach, cyber crime, and employee fraud. But there's also information on ransomware and really, anyone who has a business um, is going to want to read the book because there's something for everyone in there. Well, everybody is affected by it. We all use the internet in one form or another every day, and we could all be victims of something like this if we're not careful. But luckily, there are experts like yourself, information out there that protects us from this type of scam and, and this type of uh, dark web activity. So, Darren, thanks so much for coming all this way to, to give us this important information. I'm going to let them know a little bit more about where to go and where to find the book, et cetera, but thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, are your credentials on the dark web? Coleman Technologies can run a free and confidential dark web scan to give you that peace of mind to ensure that your information is safe. To learn more, visit ColemanTechnologies.com or call 1-800-709-3665.